I do economic evaluation of healthcare interventions and that is evaluating interventions for costs and effectiveness. It fits directly to the decision making. Policymakers like to know uh, whether or not a particular intervention provides value for money. Communicating the value for money, communicating costs and benefits uh, to service users or decision makers is uh, not an easy conversation. So we need to actually find out the best way to communicate it. And in that regard, you know, it is important to um, understand, you know, what information they're looking for to start with, and then come up with different tools to, to make sure that the decision makers actually you know, understand the argument around value for money. And, you know, my work has led to, you know, developing a number of tools like the NICE tobacco return on investment tool, the equip mode, the Astra mode, and all these tools uh, can be used by the decision makers and they can play with it and they can actually simulate different scenarios of investment and get that idea about uh, economic returns better. I've been focusing on adult general population for smoking support uh, cessation interventions. Now my next step would be to look at in specific subgroup of the population like you know, people with uh, significant mental illnesses or even outside the healthcare sector whether smoking cessation support uh, is going to be cost effective or not. And this information is critical because you know, there are a large number of uh, current smokers Nicotine is addictive, they need support, and the question is how best we can provide that support uh, and generate value for money.